Good morning, Panthers. I hope you're all having an amazing Tuesday morning. I'm Charlotte Foltz. And I'm Maya Galpo. Welcome back to another episode of PTV. We hope you had an amazing weekend, but let's get into some news. As you know, tomorrow is the PSAT, and we wanted to give you some very important reminders. First, all students are expected to be here, but there is no classroom instructions. Students taking the PSAT should check their room's location on the attendance office windows and report to their testing rooms at 745 and the testing will begin promptly at 8 o'clock. You will need to bring the following items, your ID card, a calculator, snacks, and water. It is extremely important that you do not bring any cell phones or electronic devices. There cannot be any electronics in the testing room. If there, if there are electronic devices or cell phones are found the testing in the testing rooms, all scores will be invalidated. If you are not taking the test tomorrow, you are still expected to be at school. Seniors will report to the stadium at 8.15 for an important senior seminar and student information. No school items are needed. All other students who are not testing will report to the gym by 8.15. No school items are needed either. Students will participate in presentations during this morning. Here's the best part. All students will be dismissed at 11.30. You come for a half a day and get a full day's credit. Also, the cafeteria will not be open for lunch due to an early dismissal. If you're planning on taking the AP test this school year, the deadline has been extended to November 1st to register and pay for your test. You will register for your AP test on College Board account, and you can pay for your AP test on your QConnect account. If you are a junior or a senior in an IB class, the last day to register and pay for your May 2020 IB exam is October 25th. If you would like to sign up, make sure to talk to your teachers or visit the school's website by clicking on the IB page under Academics. This Friday, October 18th, the Newbury Park High School Theater Department is putting on a cabaret event showcasing the talent of MPHS students, as well as other local high schools, dance studios, and local theaters performances, numbers from various Broadway shows. In addition to all that, you will also get a sneak peek of our fall musical, Cinderella. It starts at 7 p.m. in the pack, and, it, and it's a pay-what-you-can event. All proceeds will be donated to Broadway Cares, so try to give generously. Hey Maya, are you going to the second annual Best Dance Group competition? Actually, I am. This is one of the most exciting events of the year that you do not want to miss. This will take place this Saturday the 19th at 7 p.m. in the gym. Come out and see your favorite sports teams, clubs, and even faculty dance like you've never seen them dance before. Tickets are on sale now by asking any dance team member or online at mphsdance.org. It is $12 for students and $15 for adults. You might even see some familiar faces dancing there. Oh, and make sure to vote for football. I think she means Panther bit. Well, we may disagree on who to vote for, but we can definitely agree on one thing. There is a lot of talented students here at NP. That's right. Our reporter Logan Eby had the chance to go check out some of our talented students who are making their mark on the local music scene. I'm Jack. I'm Logan. I'm Allison. And I'm Max. And we're, we're Stereo Fidelity! We enjoy performing as a band because we just get other people to enjoy our music and enjoy what we do. Uh, we love just hyping up people and we really feed off of the energy of the crowd. So if the crowd isn't having a good time, we're not having a good time. We try to make things a bit less lame. We played a lot of different places, um, ranging from local venues like Cafe 507 or the Thousand Oaks Teen Center to places out in like Hollywood like the Whiskey, the Rose, um, the Rainbow Room. There's a bunch of different areas. Uh, and there's a bunch of really cool, unique places that um, aren't pretty well known for some reason. Uh, but yeah, we just kind of play everywhere we can. Although the music industry is not always a place of great morals, the band attempts to keep the family-friendly attitude of Newbury Park intact. Just some places we go, um, you make sure uh, 
not to make certain mistakes that a lot of people do, or especially just as a musician, there can be bad stigma uh, about you know, certain substance abuse, and we don't do that, we're heavily against it. And it really teaches us to maintain a good relationship with all of the people that we play with or everyone that comes to our shows. We try and be a family friendly fidelity. Thanks, Logan. If you want to learn more about Stereo Fidelity, you can check out their Instagram at Stereo underscore Fidelity underscore Band. You can find their music at Apple Music and Spotify. Well, Panther, Panthers, it's that time to go back to our therapeutic classes. We hope you all have an amazing week. See you next time. Have a beautiful day, Panthers.